morning everyone it's been a while we haven't updated our YouTube channel been quite busy doing a lot of different kind of work been working around here back in the shop new cars to be built it's seven degree here at the moment really really foggy so what we're doing today is we'll be driving Steve Evo 10, one of our customers. We want to do some data comparison. So there's a Evo 10 SST, nothing crazy. It might be a bit hard to get a good lap time down in this track. We thought it might be just damp, but it's actually quite wet. So it's on our favourite tyre. We've got the Vitura Tempesta Enzo. It's 245 40 18s. Steve's actually got an NSX as well. But this is his track day car. So how fast you've been around this track, Steve? Uh, not fast enough. I think that's why I need your help. <laughs> it might be actually quite fast. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so you've done. It's about two seventy kilowatts. Yeah. Um, struggling to break one twenty. The car I think should be about one sixteen. One sixteen. Maybe one seventeen. Yeah. Someone that knows what they're doing, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's fast on the straights. It'll give you a bit of a surprise. Okay. She's got some jandle. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of weight through the corners. It's probably, with me in it, it's what, 1.7, 1.8 ton. Yeah, you know, yeah. Right. I haven't driven an Evo 10 around the track for a while. But yeah. Oh, uh, last, I remember, last I remember, was, it was quite heavy around the corners. Very heavy. Yeah. yeah. She's a heavy car, eh? Yeah. Running standard <laughs> suspension as well, too. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, she's got a few toys on it. Yeah. So she's, Brake pads, what you were kind of running? Yeah, uh, cool. endless enduro pads running on that one. Okay, front end rears or? Uh, yep, all round. Okay. Uh, Zanelli rotors. Yeah. So she stops good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just just the sheer weight of the thing, eh? It's, it's a heavy car. Yeah. yeah. It's one heavy sucker. Well, hopefully the tr track dries up quickly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Four-wheel yeah. drive though, so, I got <laughs> so start drifting around the corners. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll sign in and hopefully it dries up in an hour or so. So it was a XT Auto Day. You can bring your car down. Well, it's quite value for money today. Like one, what, one fifty? One fifty. One fifty for. Free session, so. Yep. <laughs> but apparently it's not fully booked out today. Because of the weather. Because of weather. It's 50 50. Yeah. I mean, for track day, even in, if it's this condition, it's actually not bad. Like you're not really here to nah, do it's like a. Against yourself, it's, you know, yeah. you can take it slow if you want. Yeah. My escapade from a while ago. There's <laughs> no point fixing it. It's you just push her back in, I'm sure. Yeah, this this car unfortunately just gets taken out for a good beating about once every month. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah. So it's just like a front pipe and an exhaust and a tune, was it? Or? Oh no, it's got. Um, I want to pop the bonnet. Yeah. Look. I've tried to keep it looking like your nanny's car. <laughs> <laughs> well, just don't change the wheels and don't yeah. slam it. Then. Exactly. It's running a. Um, full Cinco racing exhaust okay, uh, cool. on it, okay. which is an amazing kit. Uh, we custom built a downpipe for it and a midpipe as well. Okay. Still a stock turbo? Uh, stock turbo, uh, um, upgraded uh, intercooler. Okay, okay. And it's also running a trans cooler as well. SST, yep, yep, yep. Bloody things on these things heat up pretty quickly. Yep, that's right. It's been tuned. We've got um, well, aftermarket uh, turbo coolant. 
pipe on it, which just keeps the turbo a okay. bit cooler. Okay. Um, yeah, it's had a, had a tune. Yeah. Um, so EH yeah, Motors did the tune on it. Mm -hmm. So they've kept it to a safe tune. I think it might be 235, 240 at, at the, the wheels. wheels. Yep, yep. Probably about 270, 280 kilowatts. Yeah, the, the engine. The engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. yeah, she's uh, fully serviced. Yeah. Should Had be good. Transmission done, fluids not long ago. Gee, that stuff's expensive. Three more cars coming in now. It's almost nine o'clock. Still really foggy. I think we're the last group out in our session. So, still got an hour or so, I think. But it's very wet. Not damp, it's wet. That's like a good mix of cars. So much wider than the BRZ. <laughs> Press conference. <laughs> wow, we just done driver breathing. Gonna do some orientation on that first five to ten minutes. We'll run back to the car and do some slow lap around the track. Clearing up, so hopefully we'll get some dry track. actually just put it in dry, put it on super sport and it'll keep the revs up for you yeah. or you can do change the yourself. stick or you can yeah. change yourself um, yeah, okay. just depends on how I'm feeling on the day yeah it's um it's a bit of fun still very cold it is isn't it <laughs> still very cold great for the boost turn it up <laughs> no, lucky it's not adjustable. <laughs> it's like, I'll make it. <laughs> you can, oh, seriously, you can hold these cars up something. Yeah. It's like, they just put so much power in them. Yeah. Well, of course, doing track day, you don't need that much power. You Correct. Just, you want them reliable. That is laps, the big thing. Lap after lap. It's the heat, eh? The heat is the enemy. Yeah. It's, it's the worst thing. So there's all the new. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, and 
you actually get more straight line speed, yeah. but you travel about four to five meters more when you do ah, that. But you're holding high speed. Yeah, it's quite interesting. But so, are you traveling more? Because if you have to go out wide, yeah. then you're gonna be taking more, more, more distance. Yeah. yeah. It might be close. Yeah, but you get more speed, then you can dive bomb someone on the yes. inside or the outside yes. of that part. So here. It is, a, it is a double apex corner, yeah. but it really depends. If the car is already under steering, you can't actually take that line. So you turn in, the car normally will do this, yes. and it will drift out here, yeah. and then you cut back. And you clip in the. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it really depends how the car behaves, yeah. what you do there. Yeah. again later on the day it's gonna be hard to do a good lap in this kind of track condition but see what happens can't really stand it in that last turn properly in this kind of um, surface Let's go, have some fun.
needed on this last lap. Really stiff race, a good few drifts. Try to not throw it sideways too much. adjusted the tire pressure because we were in the rush to get out it's really greasy the track but the car's four wheel drive is easy to drive over shoot the brakes a little bit like twice These are on the Futuris Tempesta, even the wet they actually drives okay. I mean, wasn't really fully pushing it. Maybe 60, 70% pace, but still work. This road high pressure hasn't even dropped or anything, so. Come in, we'll just go for a tight pressure. I'm sure we've got pretty high up there. Come on, can you see it? See the steam coming out my mouth. It's pretty cold. So, came back in at 33, 32, 33 on this corner. Did you drop them before you went out? Yeah, no. yeah, dropped them out. So when I was at home, I took them down to probably around 20s. So. 20s? Yeah. That came in at 33. 33? Yeah, look on this side. You come and look. <laughs> I'll bet you it will be like 35 at least. Wow. Yeah, that'll make it even harder driving that. Oh, not too bad. 32. That's come up a lot. <laughs> That's why we have to send it hard. <laughs> Apparently he went out on 20 degrees, sorry. I thought he hasn't adjusted the pressure. But the last two laps... It's gone out massively. So the back got up to 30. Wow, so that'll pull back down to about 20. 25, 26 yeah, normally. Yeah. It's amazing, eh, how much that heat goes up. Yep. It was... It was like full pace, but yeah. like you have to drive it hard so the tire actually heats up. Yeah, yeah. Like if you just put around, yeah. you're not going to get any heat in it. So the brakes are a little bit squeaky, eh? It's yeah, just, just a little vibration and stuff, but... Yeah, the brakes are always squeaky on this. Stuff. Yeah, it's normal. It's yeah. Brembo and yeah. pads. Is... Yeah, just real hard pads, eh? Yeah. Drives good. Drives Does good. Is through the corners? Yeah, it's fine, like... Okay. It's only standard suspension. So... 
There is a cheat I have to tell you. We have to go off the camera, but I'll tell you to change off, change something up when you drive. Oh, that, yeah. That's why the car handles a bit different when I drive it. Ah, okay. Yeah. All the new Toyota gang. Got the whole fleet. GR86, Supra Old mate Aaron whoop, whoop. Did you went out again? Hey. Did you went up to the pro session? Yeah, no, no, I went out in the, um, the slow one oh, you... And then because the track should be a little bit dry now Yeah, I was in the red car Oh, were you? Yeah Oh, the Hyundai? No, the Evo Oh, the Evo it was slippery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was slippery. Hopefully it's wrong. Yeah. So that's our last group of guys that we went out in with Swift, Hyundai 86, Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo, or the GDP? Steven Vivo. 135, more BRZ, Supra G86, Watch Steve. It's drying up, so it should be a bit faster now.
for endurance. Yeah, like because I found that because you know I was just feeling the brakes. You know, I just yeah. go, don't go and just try and go slam on every corner. Yeah. But the brakes go. Like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. brakes is a really to... fast bite. Yes. So just you yeah. touch it, it's already slowed down. You know. Yeah. After, even after five flat, the pedal feels exactly the same. Yeah. But in the wet, it's actually quite hard to drive. Like you just have to lift off slowly, ease yes. into it, then just slam. Because as soon as you slam on it, the ABS just comes on and the whole yep. car is just going. You can't yeah, feel bad. anything. So, but yeah, you got to be real careful with the power in the wet, eh? It's just ease on the ease on. Yeah, we're in the dry. You just dump it on. You <laughs> yeah, or you just have to flick the, flick the car in before the corner. Yeah, you just got to be real sensitive on that. Yeah. Right. Just have to get used to driving and it's not too bad. It's quick to 100. I put the um, little cord in there and yeah. I timed it to, it'll do four and a half to 100. Yeah, so it's, quick. it's fast. Yeah, but yeah, it's just, it's mm. just the cooling that's my biggest issue. So we still got the stock, the stock cooler is still there. Yeah. Front and, and the one in the front. So, well, yeah, like I said, next time we'll come out, we'll put the OBD gauge on it and then see if it's which one's actually overheating is it the engine oil Good is point. it the radiator yeah because normally if i drive most of these cars like a f even like papa yeah. three laps that's it they overheat yeah. so i'm probably doing well to get this far out of it to be honest yeah yeah like foot flat full pace like ronnie's fk2 i got two and a half lap yeah. my white car stock got like three and a half Oh, and everything just cuts but yeah. it's normal like well that's good we got you to the end of the session then i guess yeah but in the dry you're right you'd probably be the same yeah I'll probably two or three laps will be It'll be screaming for mercy by the end of yeah. it yeah plus on street tires you don't like you know i don't even warm up yeah. just go yeah. just go like yeah. it's like oh let's warm up the tires and brakes it's too late once you get the heat on it will never cool down on the on the road tires yeah. yeah. So any ideas to get rid of it? Does it need a bigger radiator or something? Like that? Well, that will help the heat, but it's only got the standard radiator. Mm. But yeah, oh, if it's a road car drive here, drive home, then it's good fun already. So yeah, yeah that's true. That yeah. Is what it is, so. Yeah. So we're done for the day. Steve went out twice. I went out once. Did a twenty-six, but. Um, predictors are 24 in it. The first few laps there's hold up in traffic, so couldn't get a really good time, but it's still good fun. Um, brakes getting a bit of vibration, so if you check that out first, probably just some pads built up on a disc. And we are off to Melbourne on Wednesday or Thursday actually, to Phillip Islands to do the um, BMW Experience Day, which will be driving M new M2, M3 Touring, and a few other cars. I think even electric mini. So we will see you guys in Melbourne, and hopefully the next few months we'll be keep flying and do all the rounds that we missed out the last two years due to COVID. Cool.